Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere? I'm also the webmaster of scja.com. So if you're interested in getting Java certified, head over. I've got a whole bunch of different mock certification exams at scja.com. I'm also the author of the SCGA certification guide and the webmaster of pulpjava.com and mcnz.com for all sorts of free multimedia tutorials. So head over there, check it out, take a look at my tutorials, maybe even click on a Google ad or two to support the site. It'd really be appreciated. Right now what I'm interested in doing is simply creating a, a basic portlet, a Hello World portlet, using IBM's Rational Application Developer version 6 and deploy that to a portal server, portal server test environment. Now the first step is actually just to create a new portlet project so here I'm going to say File New Other. I'm going to create a do, 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 portlet project, JSR168. Click the Next button. Now, this isn't uh, enabled, so I'll just enable that facility. It'll take a second. Now my project I'm just going to call Basic Portlets. I'm not going to create a new portlet. I'm going to use the wizard for that. So I'm just going to accept the, the defaults there, although I'm not going to create a web diagram. I'm actually going to take a look back. Notice show advanced. Notice that uh, it's uh, version 2.3. IRAD 7 will create a 2.4 version, which uh, won't actually work on the web server test environment 5.1, just uh, looking ahead. But this will create a, a basic portlet project for JSR 168 portlets. Of course, portlet projects are pretty boring unless they've got portlets in them. So I'm going to right click on my basic portlets. From the context menu select new portlet. I'm going to create an empty JSR 168 portlet and default name prefix so I'll call it hello world. We'll see what happens here. And so my portlet is going to be named hello world. The display name will be hello world portlet. Sure why not. The internationalized version will be hello world portlet. I'm going to actually going to change package prefix. I'm going to make it com.examscam.portlet. Not very creative, but it should work. Click the next button. I'm not going to create any additional modes like edit help or configure um, or any additional markups. I'm just going to support HTML. So I'll click finish and fairly soon an editor will open up and allow me to edit my Java code for this simple JSR168 portlet. I notice that the tool does all this annoying stuff like put javadoc in. Who comments their codes anyways? Just not impressed. Not impressed at all. But let me see. I'll take a look at my Hello World portlet. Kind of clean this up a bit. I don't need a, a process action method, although I will get into that a little bit later. All I want to do is keep this real simple. Inside of my do view methods, when the portlet is viewed, I'm just going to send text, HTML, back to the client. Just hard code that in. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the print writer of the response to print out hello world. This is just very, very simple. So inside of this portlet, you can see it extends javax.portlet.genericportlet. You can see that over here on my imports that I've imported, javax.portlet. The portlet is a class with a do view method. This is what gets called when a portlet is viewed, just displayed on a page. We're going to send HTML back to the client and using the response object, because this really is a request response cycle that we're responding to, we're going to print hello world inside of that little portlet space that we get on our page. I'm going to click Control S to save. And then I'm actually going to run this portlet. And I should actually run into a little bit of a problem here. So I'm going to say run on server. Let's see what type of magic pops up here. I want to run it on my web server portal test server 5.1, but you'll notice that it's not here. Now, not to worry. Um, I've actually installed the portal right off the root of C into a folder called portal UTE, I believe. And there it is, portal 5.1 UTE. And there's the app server component, and there's the portal server component inside of it. What I need to do is I need to go into IBM Rational Application Developer, into Preferences, and in the server window, and installed runtimes, 
where it says Web Server Portal 5.1 Stub. I need to edit this and let the tool know that, in fact, the portal test environment and WebSphere test environment are, well, not in these locations. So first I'm going to point to the portal location. It is under, no, not buried under there. We have portal UTE and there's portal server. Just have to point to the install directory. And similarly, I'm going to point the application server entry to app server. Make sure you don't mess these up. Make sure portal server matches portal server and app server matches app server. That's all got to be straight. But once I've done this, now that portal runtime becomes available to my applications. And now, when I right click on basic portlets and select run, run server, you'll notice magically Web Server Portal 5.1 test environment is selected. Now you might actually want to click on this button here so that you don't have to go through these steps each time. You don't have to configure the environment each time, but just kind of clicking next and stuff like that. WPS admin, WPS admin is my, my password. Everything looks good. I'll click finish. And now it's going to take a second because behind the scenes it's going to start up a portal server and uh, deploy my portlets to that portal server. In just a moment we'll see how my portlets appear on the WebSphere portal test environment. And actually as it starts up, I'm actually going to bring up the task manager. And it's sometimes interesting to take a look at the processes that are running. If I sort on memory, oh look at that, look at that A Java EXE file that's taking up hundreds of megs of RAM. Um, anyways, we'll uh, we'll see this actually. Probably go over the two or three hundred mark before we're completely ready to test our application. But it is interesting. Notice the CPU usage 100 percent. And now, as we sort of peek out at 350 megs of RAM, that's our portal server running right there. We can see that. Our basic portlets, notice the, the tab there is the name of the portlet project, is, print, is displayed. And under that portlet project, I currently have one portlet, the Hello World portlet, which is displaying Hello World. And that's about it. It all looks good. A couple of other things you might just want to take a look at are, say, perhaps the portlet deployment descriptor. Um, you'll notice that all portlets need a deployment descriptor. WSAD adds uh, some interesting detail there, um, but it's interesting to, to just take a look at that, another important part of our basic portlet application. Well, that's it for now. As I said, please head over to my website, scj.com, mcnz.com, even examscam.com. Um, take a look at some of the resources we have available. I'd really love it if you supported the site by clicking on a Google ad. Um, even better, um, purchase a copy of the SCGA certification guides, exam questions, or what is WebSphere? That's it for now. Happy Java!